back to my channel and welcome to episode 2 of Extreme Makeover DIY Room Edition. Today's video is going to be a three part process, all jam packed into one video, but uh, step one is going to be spackling the wall, which is essentially filling in all the holes that I so recklessly put into the wall, not realizing that it might possibly be me who would have to patch all of them up. So that's going to be step one. Step two is going to be repainting the entire patched up wall white. The amount of rooms that I have had to repaint white is a little preposterous. Preposterous? 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 <laughs> <laughs> is a little preposterous at this point. And then step three, which I am so excited for and I have never done ever, is that we are going to paint a big <laughs> wall mural. And I'm super excited. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot, grab some different paint chips. I'm thinking like a pink, peach, tan type of like fun situation. So I'll show you some inspo pics when we get to that part. That's definitely the scariest part because I feel like it's a white wall. So like hopefully I don't mess up the white wall. Like don't put it past me because I don't have a ton of painting experience. But we're gonna knock out this white wall and then we're gonna... I don't even want to say knock out this wall mural because I feel like it's just so much more effort than sticking a roller to a wall. Anyways, super excited. Let's get spackling. So I've never done this before. We've watched a few YouTube videos. I ordered everything I need on Amazon and uh, let's get into it. Okay, hole filling and patching complete. Okay, so I let my patches dry overnight. I'm gonna finish sanding them down and then uh, we go on paint. Also, this wall keeps getting bigger and bigger as it gets emptier. It's like growing this way. Like it, obviously it's not growing, but it feels like it's growing. Okay, so a few things that we're learning. A, none of these plates come off, which is like kind of odd and random. So we gonna have to just tape them off or just YOLO it and have a steady hand. B, I don't know what color this was originally painted. So we are also YOLOing with just like a primer and paint base. And I'm taping off the baseboards in hope that they'll still match afterwards, but I'm a little unsure. So this is kind of like a little bit of a YOLO, but what else is new on this channel? Don't bring it to my house because I obviously have very high tech security. <laughs> We're gonna be hand painting around so much stuff. I'm a little stressed. I wonder if like anytime like I'm filming and like you're doing stuff, if people ever like, how come Matt doesn't <laughs> help? <laughs> I always think that. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing. PSA, again, this is for entertainment purposes only and not tutorial purposes, but we just go hope for the best. We're doing a lot of hand painting around all of these plates that won't come off, so love that for me. And I think realistically at the end of the day, we go and paint a hopefully cute design on it tomorrow. So if things go poorly today, which I hope they do not, we always have tomorrow. And also too, like at the end of the day, we're putting up shelves with cute photos, and so we just go and cover up all the mistakes. But no mistakes because I'm a pro painter. We love a handy woman painter do-it-yourself babe okay let's let's do it is there a particular side that you're supposed to do this with 
<laughs> okay, so we're gonna start by doing all the corners first and then go in with the roller. Also, it says one coat, but we'll see if that actually ends up happening. Ah! Scary, 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 scary. Okay, here we go. This is why we cover things. I should probably be wearing gloves. Oh, this is heavy. Okay, ready? One, two, and ah! ah! Is that too much? That feels like a lot. Okay, okay. Ah! 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 I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and contact. Oh my god, I'm not even able to tell where I've been painting. Oh god, this is like pretty much the exact same color. This feels counterproductive. Like I'm almost wondering if I, just, if I should just like skip this step. It's the exact same. What do we think? I think you should do the whole thing. <laughs> not the answer I wanted to hear, Matt! Okay, here we go. Fine! You spots. Fine, you're right. Ugh. one coat situation. Wow. Yes. That was so satisfying. That was the first satisfying stroke of this entire stupid project. Gets frustrated after 20 minutes of painting. And contact! Oh my god, what am I, I don't, like, I don't know how to do this. Mr. K! Mr. K! Ah! This whole thing is moving. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Where do I start? Does it, I guess it just doesn't matter? What? Wow, this is so much more satisfying than a stupid little brush on the corners. Woo yes! lunch break and we're gonna go in with the second coat of white. The paint can lies. You need a second coat. But it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna really shoot too much of this because I am painting white on white and it literally looks like I'm just like painting a blank wall. So to spare you and also because I'm feeling bloated after lunch, I'm just gonna do the second coat and I'll see you in a little bit. Step two is officially done. It looks pretty good. I like feel like I've been painting just looking at a blank wall the entire day, which essentially I guess I have been. Uh, so I feel like I'm going a little crazy, but the wall is white and uh, tomorrow's the hard day. Also, I'm looking at these colors now and I'm like, is this maybe too bright? I don't know. So I'm going to, on my iPad, I think sketch out a rough draft with the colors that I would like and try and make a plan so that tomorrow I know exactly what we're gonna do. Ah! Tomorrow's gonna be so hard. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Like seeing how nice and fresh the white wall looks, I was like, should I just leave it how it is? Because it looks really good right now. It's just like so clean and white and bright. And like this is, I've, I've never painted a big wall mural before. So uh, this is a first for me. And like white, easy to make mistakes with. Kiss and tell, watermelon slice, peach mimosa, not as easy to make mistakes with. So uh, there's that. I'm gonna make a plan tonight and then tomorrow 
We is painting. Welcome to day three of Extreme Makeover DIY Room Edition. Ah, today is the hardest part. So today is the day that we are painting a whole wall mural. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to be painting these four colors. I had to go back to Home Depot again because I couldn't make up my mind, didn't pick up enough paint swatches. Also, please let me know in the comments if you call these paint chips or paint swatches. I grew up calling them chips, but apparently that's like not a thing in Matt's world at least, and I need to know or now. Or Kate's world. In, in Kate's world either. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know if anyone else calls these a paint chip. It doesn't really make sense now that I think about it as well. Like, I, I get that. I totally get it. I see it. I hear it as well. So I've got my four colors and like, ooh, she's an adult. We mature. I'm not just like throwing up neon colors as much as I love neon colors. I feel like that's how I got so overwhelmed in this room originally. So we're gonna be painting four wavy stripes starting down at this corner, going up towards this corner. And I'm just gonna kind of freehand it. I'm gonna start by sketching out with some pencil, but essentially we're just gonna slap on color by color and hope for the best. <laughs> this is the inspo photo right here that I am going off of. Make sure to check out her Instagram. It's incredible. It is the most aesthetic thing ever. But that's where I got the inspiration for this pattern. We're not recreating it exactly, and obviously the colors are different, but I'm excited. Nervous. We're just gonna start. We're just gonna start. This wall keeps getting bigger. It's like a scary dream where it goes like, ooh, you know? Like how? Like, ooh. <laughs> Maybe I can't start at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, so we're gonna go up and then up and then up. I should just look to wall decor. <laughs> this is too big of a project. <laughs> I love it freaking out, but there's literally an eraser here if we need to do it again. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. unofficial painting jumpsuit. I have two of these and this is the same one I wore in the DIY Master Graffiti Edition episode. So this is just the unofficial painting uniform I think for uh, me. Anyways, it looks pretty good so far. Yeah. I'm not, not nervous still, but I'm, I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm also so excited to show you guys all the furniture pieces that I have picked out. It gonna be good. This next color is like a coral color and I'm not gonna lie, it looks like it was much darker in the form of a paint chip, but now it's like kind of really close to this peach color, I feel like. So we'll see how it looks. Oh, no, that's definitely different. Oh, um, maybe not. <laughs> that looks like the same color. This ends up just being like an ombre blob. Okay, here we go. It's not that different. <laughs> Different, right? <laughs> 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 
moving on to color number three. It's like salmon. Salmon. King salmon. Super orangey. And I'm also learning that these colors change so much once they dry. This color wet looked exactly like this color, and that's why I feel like I was panicking a little bit, but they change a lot. So color number three, let's do it. I'm excited. I don't hate it so far, so that's a good sign. I'm like, this is definitely the same color as the one before it. <laughs> ah, home stretch! It's looking pretty good. I feel like I'm such a perfectionist though that I'm like, oh, I wish I'd done that corner differently. I wish I'd made this a little thicker. But I gotta remember that it's gonna be covered by so much stuff and like floating shelves and art. It gonna be cute. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind. It's starting to get dark because life right now, it gets dark at 4 p.m. So that's great. Hopefully I'll finish in time and then I should probably let it dry overnight before I show you guys like the final, but um, excited, don't hate it, love that for me. Last color, here we go. I want this one to be thick with three C's. We're here. Honestly, I have a little orange on my hand, but other than that, I'm pretty unscathed. I broke a nail before the video even started, so that was a great start for me. Um, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I like the color still. I feel like there's more contrast in real life than there actually is on camera. Like I feel like the top two colors are like a little blendy together, but I feel like I'm not allowed to have a final opinion until we decorate, we do some DIYs, we get all the furniture, the shelves, the wall art in. It gonna be cute. I'm so excited. Uh, hello, you thought the video was over because I did too. It's the next day and I hate it. <laughs> More specifically, I just hate how this orange turned out. These two colors are way too close and it just ain't it. So I went to Home Depot for the third time in like two or three days and got a new orange. And you know what? I don't know why I'm surprised because these look literally so similar in the paint chips as well. So like, what what was you thinking? Why, why Lauren, why? I think I've also just come to the conclusion that I'm way too much of a perfectionist to do any kind of painting because like this little spot here is driving me crazy so I might even crack this paint back open and smooth out this edge here because I hate it and it's driving me insane so anyway orange part two happening right now Episode one of the Extreme Makeover series. It is destroying the DIY room to get us to the beginning of this video. That'll be linked in the down bar below. And I haven't decided if next week we're gonna furnish or decorate. So two more episodes left in the series. I'm super excited. Two as in two, not four. Two episodes left in the series. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's any specific furniture pieces that you're envisioning in this space. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on Sunday for another Sunday. Ah, Bye guys, love you. I'm the DIY queen, that's the royal elite. My pretty little kingdom out here running the streets.